Welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we're running down 10 players enjoying excellent spells on loan this season. We've already spoken about Chris Smalling and Martin Odegaard to death, so today we're leaving them out. But there are still plenty of top players here. Let's go. 10. Angelino. He may have only moved in January, but Angelino is loving life at RB Leipzig. The left back had only returned to his parent club Man City last summer after the Sky Blues exercised their buyback option from PSV Eindhoven where he had shone. But the return to fitness of Benjamin Mendy plus further competition with Alexander Zinchenko meant the Spaniard was limited to just 422 minutes of Premier League football. Very much a cup player at City, Angelino was quick to head back to mainland Europe when Leipzig came calling. And the 23-year-old has made quite an impression in Germany. He is making 3.7 tackles and interceptions per game, as well as 1.3 key passes per 90. Playing on the left of a back five, he has been afforded much more attacking responsibility, currently completing an impressive two dribbles per 90, more than double what he managed at City, and even has a goal to his name too. Should he continue to impress, then Leipzig could very quickly become his new home thanks to their £25.5 million option to buy. And with Julian Nagelsmann's side, one of the most exciting in Europe, plus guaranteed minutes, he's got a good reason to stay. 9. Sergio Reguilon Another fullback impressing away from his parent club is current Sevilla star Sergio Reguilon. Despite having turned 23 in December, the Real Madrid Academy product has struggled to play much top-level football, with most of his appearances coming for Los Blancos' B-side and Udi Logrones in the Spanish third tier. His big chance came this summer when Sevilla decided to take him on for the season, and he has looked at home in Andalusia. Despite collecting seven bookings and committing 1.9 fouls a game, the Spaniard has been a valuable asset in both attack and defence. His four assists is thanks to his 2.8 crosses and key passes per 90, while his 3.2 tackles and interceptions per game has made him a regular starter next to Sergio Escudero at the back. With Ashraf Hakimi and Alvaro Odriozola also set to return from loan spells this summer, Real Madrid will be sport for choice in the fullback department. Regalon can only hope his continued success at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan will help him stand out from the crowd come next season. If not, then there will be plenty of others interested in his signature. Before we move on to our next loanee, just a quick reminder to, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because you don't want to miss another EFD video. Trust me, they're all just as brilliant as this one is, I think. 8. Emil Smith-Rowe One player seemingly destined for the very top is Arsenal Academy product Emil Smith-Rowe. At least that's the opinion of Huddersfield town boss Danny Cowley, who has been delighted with the youngster since his arrival from the Gunners in January. In just nine games, the attacking midfielder has shone for the championship strugglers, scoring once and registering two assists. Despite being just 19, Smith Rowe has played like one of the most assured members of the side. Excellent on the ball, no Terriers player can match his 3.7 dribbles and key passes per 90, while no one comes close to his 88% pass accuracy. In fact, only four championship midfielders are beating him in this department. Injury limited Smith Rowe to just 28 minutes of Bundesliga action in his loan spell with RB Leipzig last season. And with fixtures coming thick and fast, Cowley has been cautious to overuse the playmaker. However, should he continue to perform when required, Huddersfield's future and his own career both look to be going in the right direction. As shown with Saka, Martinelli and Nketiah, new Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta is not afraid to use his young stars, so Smith Rowe could easily be next on that list. 7. Mauro Icardi In March 2019, Mauro Icardi was playing zero football, having been stripped of his captaincy and suspended by Inter Milan, the culmination of years of strained relations between the Argentinian striker and the club. One year on and he is enjoying an excellent spell at Paris Saint-Germain, having joined on loan just a few months after his ordeal at the San Siro. While there were concerns about a player of Icardi's reputation entering a club already dogged by the media circus surrounding Neymar and Mbappe, the move made sense from a footballing perspective, with Edinson Savani ageing out and Eric Chupo moting the club's only other recognised centre forward. And it has paid off. The 27-year-old has scored 20 goals in all competitions so far this campaign, hitting the net every 87 minutes in the league and Champions League, a better rate than teammate Neymar. 
His production has dropped off since the turn of the year, with just three strikes in nine league games in 2020. But Icardi remains a regular starter under Thomas Tuchel, and his smooth integration into the side has made the prospect of Cavani going for free in the summer relatively easy to deal with. With an option to buy for 65 million euros, surely it's a no-brainer for Le Parisien. 6. John Joe Kenny One of the unlikely success stories of this season, John Joe Kenny looked distinctly average during his time at Everton, where he was part of a backline which conceded 58 goals in the 2017-18 Premier League campaign. For context, that was a poorer defensive record than bottom-placed West Brom and contributed to the Toffees' worst goal difference in 12 years. But following a move to Schalke last summer, the Englishman's fortunes changed almost instantly. In August 2019, he was voted the Bundesliga's Rookie of the Month, an award given to the division's most impressive under-23 player, which has since been won by Marcus Thuram and Erling Braut Haaland. The right-back's performances have remained pretty consistent since then, and he has been practically ever-present in a side filled with talented young players, ranking fourth in the squad for minutes played, ahead of goalkeeper Alexander Nubel. Unsurprisingly, David Wagner is keen to keep Kenny beyond this season and help his continued revival at the Veltins Arena. But if his performances continue to impress, he may well face competition for his signature. 5. Suso The second Sevilla player on our list, Suso had a torrid start to the 2019-20 campaign. AC Milan's key creator, the Spaniard had led the club's assist charts for the previous three seasons, but the production swiftly dropped off a cliff, contributing to a goal every 450 minutes at the San Siro this season, compared to an involvement every 180 minutes last term. Clearly unsuited to the management of Gianpaolo and Pioli, Suso secured a loan move to the Spanish outfit at the end of January and is already enjoying life in Andalusia after returning to the region of his birth for the first time since another loan spell at Almeria in 2013-14. And the 26-year-old has already seen an uptick in his output at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. At the time of writing, he has a goal and an assist from three league starts. And his overall performance level has improved massively. At current, the former Liverpool man is clocking up 0.51 expected goals and assists per 90, which is the best average of his career. While we may see this drop off slightly as he plays more, there's no doubt Suso is enjoying life in La Liga. And with an obligation to buy a Sevilla qualify for the Champions League, he could be a permanent acquisition by the summer. 4. Mario Lamina One of a number of players loaned out by Southampton in the summer of 2019, Mario Lamina's second season in the Premier League sadly didn't live up to expectations following a promising first term at St Mary's. Dogged by injury, the Gabon international sat out most of the second half of the campaign, just as Ralph Hasenhüttl began to settle on his preferred 11 and, after voicing his desire to leave, was left out of the club's pre-season plans. And it looks like he made the right decision. Clearly happy with his loan switch to Galatasaray, the 26-year-old warmed quickly to the Turkish club's passionate fan base and has played in every game for which he's been fit under manager Fatih Terim. Since Steven and Zonzi's move to Rennes in January, Lamina is very much the club's number one defensive midfielder and leads the squad for tackles and interceptions with 4.2 per 90. Very impressive in a side which averages nearly 60% possession. With an option to buy for 16 million euros, Gala are keen to keep hold of the former Juventus man. But with financial fair play a worry for the Turkish champions, a loan extension is currently being mooted. Either way, expect Lamina to still be at the Turk Telecom Stadium come next season. 3. Harry Wilson Liverpool loanee Harry Wilson has been a bright light in an otherwise gloomy year for AFC Bournemouth. Having excelled in the championship with Derby County last year, where under the guidance of Frank Lampard he hit 16 goals and 4 assists, Jurgen Klopp sent the Welshman to the Cherries to gain regular Premier League experience. Scoring on his debut away to Aston Villa, the attacking midfielder has scored a further six times, with two of those being free kicks. While it may not be as prolific as his championship return, at the Rams he was pushing for promotion, whereas Bournemouth are stuck firmly in a relegation scrap. As a result, his average touches per game have fallen from 46.6 to 33.4, with the number of passes he makes dropping from 29 to 21. But that hasn't dampened his attacking instinct, with no other Cherries player offering more than his 2.9 shots per 90. Clearly valued by Eddie Howe, only five outfield players have more minutes than the 22-year-old. Liverpool's famed front three are showing no signs of slowing down, 
meaning Wilson may see his long-term future as away from Anfield. Should he decide to leave, there will be no shortage of interest in his services. 2. Islam Slomani Generally considered a flop in the Premier League, Islam Slomani was similarly ineffective during a loan spell last term at Fenerbahce, where he managed just one goal in 14 league starts. However, his entry into French football was explosive. Upon arriving at Monaco last summer, the 31-year-old striker hit the ground running, contributing to 11 goals in 9 games, the same amount he managed in his entire first season at Leicester, forming a fantastic little and large combination with Ben Yedder up top. And despite suspensions and injury causing him to miss a good chunk of action around the middle of the campaign, he has hit form once again since his return, hitting two goals in three starts in February. At the time of recording, only Angel Di Maria has clocked up more assists than Slimani 7 in Ligue 1, while the former sporting man is still keeping up an average of a goal involvement every 74 minutes, which is actually better than what the Argentinian forward is managing in a free-scoring PSG side. After what seems like an eternity, the big Algerian has once again found a happy home. 1. Alexander Sorloth Crystal Palace fans will no doubt be in despair at the form of their striker Alexander Sorloth at Trabzonspor. Despite the arrival of the now banned Daniel Sturridge making all the headlines, it is actually the young Norwegian who has been tearing it up on the Turkish coast, hitting 19 goals and registering 7 assists in just 23 games. Unsurprisingly, there is no forward in the Super League that can beat Sorloth's goal count, while only four other strikers take more than his 3.3 shots per game, though none have been as clinical. With his side just one point behind league leaders Istanbul Başakşehir here with a game in hand, should Sorloth help father Black Sea Storm to their first Super League title since 1984, then he would write his name into Trabzon legend. Palace, meanwhile, have only Jordan Ayu to rely on for goals this season. With the Ghanaian scoring just seven and new signing Cenk Tosun on one, it seems the 23-year-old Norway international will almost certainly get another opportunity to shine in South London. So those were our 10 players smashing it on loan, but what did you make of them? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not stick right here on EFD and watch Stat Wars and loads of other top 10s. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.